Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone! Thank you for joining me for another video and this time around I'm going to be doing an eye tutorial specifically on how I colour eyes. Now I colour eyes a lot different to how other artists colour them so if you don't want to learn how to colour my specific way then you don't have to watch this video. So to start you want to get the eye colour which you will use for the base of the eye and the base of the eye for this character is blue. So I'm going to go ahead and colour in the character's eyes blue. And then once you have your character's base colour down, then you want to get your brush tool and I will have all of my tools and all of their specifications listed in the description below so if you want to have the specifics that I have then feel free to have those as well. So you want to get your brush tool, start a new layer and clip it and then you want to go to your colour wheel, shift the colour a little bit and then put it down. I like to go diagonally towards the lower right corner but you can go towards the lower left, it's not really a big fuss. And then you just mark out about halfway a curved line. And then from that line you just want to shade the rest of the eye above it. And then on the same layer you want to get your pen tool which I've renamed the colouring tool because it's more precise than a normal pen tool and you just want to draw a half circle in the middle with both eyes. Hooray we've already done step two. Moving on to step three. Before I move on to step three I'm just going to make that one a little bit bigger. Okay now on to step three. We'll go back to our brush tool and we'll pick a more a slightly darker shade of the colour that you're working with. So once again I shifted my colours down to the right and then we'll just do about a quarter of the way up and shade that in. And now this is one of my favourite parts because I don't see many artists doing this but I really enjoy doing it myself. So you want to get the pen tool back and then you want to just start from the top and then do a quick line down and do that on both sides of the eye so that it's kind of just curving around in the middle so that it's in between the outside and then the inside curve next step on a new layer once again we get the marker tool. I love using the marker tool I use it for so many different things including my sketches and then you want to get something like maybe a complementary color that's lighter than your base color so for me personally when I'm doing blues I like to use a bright yellow. If you're doing stuff like greens I'd probably use a light blue or a, maybe a light yellow, reds, light blues, pinks, light blues, it just all depends. And then we're going to just mark the lines that we made in the previous step going all the way up on both of the eyes like so. And then you also want to do it in between the lines as well, which is this part here. And now next step. Now sometimes I do the next few steps in reverse order, sometimes I do them in random orders, but this is how I'm going to do it for this video. So then you want to get your base colour again and still using your marker tool you want to just create kind of like a pupil in the middle of the eye. But you don't want to press down all the way on your pen so you don't want it to be like that you just want to have a, a nice like a lighter 
more opaque no the opposite of opaque the opacity is just a little bit lower than your base color and then I like to change this layer to screen and then we have the pupil new layer once again we'll get our color again now I like to use the same color that I used for the markings on the eye and I like to go in create kind of like a half circle that only reaches to the bottom of the circle that we created on the second layer and then I set that to luminosity grab the soft watercolor brush that I have and I blur it out which then creates some brightness in the eye which is especially good if I have a character with a lighter eye color which this character certainly does have a nice light eye color and since you always have highlights you always have to have darker shades as well so we want to take the same color that we've had up the top and only drag it down a little bit to get a darker shade Remove the color wheel once again to get a variety of shades and then I get the color tool I do one line above change the layer to multiply get my nice soft brush again and I shade it out and then if I feel like I need to have more shading with it then I'll go back in with the watercolor brush not the color brush and I'll just shade it down also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of weird. I'm really nervous to make videos like this. And now this one is completely optional, but I do it because I enjoy how it looks when the effect is done correctly. I get a very light blue. It usually doesn't matter what kind of color eye you use. If it's red, light blue is fine. Even if it's black, light blue is good as well. You get a light blue and then soft watercolor brush and then I like to just press down lightly to so get a kind of faded smudgy effect but also looks like there's a slight, slight curve and light source in the eye like that and then on a new layer I might go in and take a more of a ready color maybe a light pink and then I might line one side with it but this is only this is an extra you don't have to do it if you don't want to I'm just choosing to do it on this time and then I change that to screen I'm just doing this because I wanted a little bit of extra light in the eye and then above your line art layer and this is important to me when I'm doing the eyes I like to go over the line art layer and add in the white shine and I do that on both of the eyes and then I also add in a small one on the lower left side like that and that is how I draw and color eyes thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one if there is an next one.